What's he doing at this high weight? Two hundred and seventy-two pounds. I was nineteen stone fourteen, like solid. How do you feel about the young coat, money? Obviously. Listen, I was too strong for him, Dad. I was forty pound heavier than him. He was about fifteen and a half stone, and I was nineteen and a half stone. Yes, Ryan. Yes, Oh, yeah, they've they done a good thing. Listen, I was going to hurt him more. I busted his ear from all black ones. Yeah, what you say, Emily? Hello? No, listen, he was, he was gone. Then. He didn't recover from the first knockdown. Uh, I hit him with left up to the body and tripled him. Does she, does she a strength for me? Put him over with a body shot. Never seen a man like it in my life. Hey, Dad, only the second second man in history to win the Ring Magazine belt twice. Me and Muhammad Ali, not bad, eh? Oh, oh, I'm still in shock. Yeah. Oh, that really is getting too big for victory, Stan. Alright, go on then, Dad, because I've got a million interviews here. I've got to get back to the house. Oh, I haven't seen them. Bye-bye. Thanks, Tyson. Great scenes in that ring tonight. You're stood in front of me now in your T-shirt that says World Champion WBC. You've got your underpants and your socks on as well. Yes, I have. But, but firstly, it was a privilege to cover that fight for Talk Sport tonight. It was sensational. And you did what you said. FL TV, Shane Fury. Well, you, let, you said it. You all said it. Listen. Tyson is the best heavyweight in the mile. In, in the world, by a clear mile. In my opinion, he's the best heavyweight ever been. The, the size of him, the stature of him, the fatness of him, he shouldn't be able to do what he can do. He's a proper fighting man. He's proved it tonight. He's the best in the world. We don't want to hear no more critics. There wasn't one boxing person, or very little, will pick my brother to win. Yeah? He keeps on proving you wrong time and time over again. I don't want to hear it. I'm nobody. But you must know fuck all. You don't know boxing. Because you go against him every time. And it's obviously bullshit. Every time you go against him. He's the best man in the world by a clear mile. There ain't going to be a rematch because he won't want one. He's the best heavyweight in the world. He keeps on doing it over and over and over again and nobody gives him a chance when it comes to it. How's your emotions going? And then they want to suck him off once he's won. They can go suck our balls. That's abrupt. That's what I mean. All right. Yeah, come on, come on. Might have a uh, slice of pizza, you know. Is that it? <laughs> I've done all the celebrating for three years, haven't I? There's not much more I can do in my life with uh, celebrating. I think I'll just go home, have a couple of glasses of water, and uh, that's it, really. We're going to go out tonight, baby, <laughs> Hakkasan! <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely well done. Thank, Thank you very much. All the best. Nice. Right. So, Kun Kessius, IFL TV. Can I just, uh, just introduce this guy? Uh, he owns the Boxing Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. Can we give him the um, yeah. Just give him the chair. I need yeah. Yeah. We're going to put, 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 put his arm in the chair in the museum. We're going to put his arm in the chair in the museum. No, no, I need them boots. Send me lucky boots. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, the stool. The stool, he can have the stool. Hello. Go on, Coke. You, you said you was going to do it. No one believed you. Everyone thought that you was bluffing, play, eh? Play, yeah, playing I'm games. a bluffer, isn't I? Play, game player. Yeah. You know, what have I been saying for the last six months? Everyone, I told everybody I was going to knock him out. Uh, nobody listened. Here we are. Knocked. I knocked out a knockout king, and I can't punch. Can't crack an egg, can I? Two feather dusters, these are. It's terrible. What do you remember about the knockdowns in that fight? Don't drink no more water, because there's none, none of that. I don't remember anything. It was all a blur, and that was it. I remember knocking him down a few times, hitting him with a body shot, knocking him down. That was it. it was what it was. It was a great fight. I lived up to all the hype, and things rarely do, but every time I say... I'm going to do something, I always do it, and I have done it. And I've delivered again. And, you know, big shout out to everyone who watched me on TV around the world, and big shout out to every fan who came over here. I felt like I was, I was at home here tonight. It was 99% Tyson Fury crowd. 
in America, in Las Vegas. This is the home of the Gypsy King. And thank you to everyone who came, you know. I can't really say what, much more. What an entrance as well. Yeah. Who's the idea? Your idea? My idea, as always. What an entrance. Entrance fit for a king. And which other champion in history would come out to Patsy Cline? Crazy. Crazy. Crazy nutcase like me would do. Oh, sorry. Tyson, the third match with uh, Deontay Wilder, is it something that will possibly happen? Well, he's got a rematch clause in the contract, but, well, you know, he's only just had his loss and I've just had my victory. I'm not concentrating on other fights. Who cares? Let me have my victory. Let me enjoy the spoils of war. Come on. Everyone's going to ask you about Joshua now as well. No one's going to ask me about Joshua because he could have been here tonight, but he didn't. I took this chance. I come over here. I took over America and that's it. I'm going to enjoy the spoils of war and uh, enjoy well, myself tonight and uh, that's it. Take place now. Wilder was a bum now you've beat him. He's a bum now. Wilder's no good. That's what they'll say. You know, I beat Klitschko in Germany. I beat Deontay Wilder in Los Angeles. Come back and done it again in Las Vegas. Say no more. Two-time Ring Magazine champion of the world. Only second man in history. WBC heavyweight champion and lineal heavyweight champion of the world. Number one, baby. That's it. Congratulations, Tyson. Thanks, Kurgan. Right. Well done, mate. Great. Thank you, mate. The... How do you feel, mate? It's un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Listen, Tyson went in there tonight as an underdog. All, all the greats, let, fuck knows, Lennox Lewis, Evander Olafield, Thomas Hearns, or everyone, only a select amount of people picked Tyson to win the fight. To go in there and just beat him in every aspect, outboxed him, outfought him, outpunched him, outhearted him, just unbelievable. Listen, the Gypsy King's real and he's the best, the greatest of his era, by far. No yeah. question. There's one thing Go. that I don't want to hear tomorrow, and it, which is coming. It's definitely coming with a lot as well. But they shouldn't do They give, him, give a man who's near death and come back to be number one in the division without any question his credit deserves. Don't say Wilder was no good. Don't say Wilder had one punch. Don't say he was a bum. He never had no technique. He was a champion for how long? What was he? Six, seven years? Uh, Since 15? 15, five, five years. Ten title defences. No, 11. I think Ele this no, this was his 11th defence. Ten successful title yeah. defences. One behind Muhammad Ali in front of Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Vladimir, no, Vidaly Klitschko. Give him the credit he deserves. Tyson Fury's beat a 10-year reigning champion and now a five-year reigning champion with ten defences. Give him the credit he deserves. Don't say... Wilder wasn't all he was cracked up to be. Please, give a man who suffered mental health near on suicide, come back from 28 stone, the credit he deserves. Please. Do you think Wilder will take the third fight? I don't know. Probably for the money, it's a massive fight. Who wouldn't want to see that again? An entertaining fight. You know, even though Tyson was battering him from pillar to post, Wilder was always still in that fight because he's got the equaliser. So, yeah, who, would, who wouldn't want to pay to see the third fight? If Wilder takes it, good luck to him. It's mad because your brother's been saying he was going to knock him out all the way through his build-up. No one believed and everyone him. was like, He's got is it a bit of mind fist. games or what? Everyone, whoever had a, pi a picture... Sure, What's know. he doing? No, he's singing, isn't he? He's saying, whoever had an opinion on this fight... He's in the shower. <laughs> whoever had an opinion in this fight said... If they pick Tyson, he's definitely going to win on points. No way in the world can Tyson win by yeah. stoppage or knocking down or even hurt him. Tyson don't punch hard. Tyson's injured. Tyson's this. Tyson's that. Come on. Give the man the credit he deserves. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Hack his hand later? <laughs> Bed, probably. Bed for listen, you. Bed motions for you. run high. But again, only the second man in history to win the Ring Magazine twice. Heavyweight division. Mm, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just can't wait for Eddie Hearn's interview. Can you? What? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I don't know. Listen, unbelievable. Listen, Josh, Josh was a good champion, but in my opinion, I'm not biased, I say as it is, Wilder was the only threat out there. Josh was very good. He's technically really good, but he's very textbook. And for someone textbook with Tyson, can't live with that. Mm. By far, Wilder was way more dangerous than Josh will ever know how to be. Not saying Joshua's bad or he's no good or whatnot, but a lot more dangerous because Joshua, no, uh, Wilder will throw punches from angles that Josh would never dream of doing. 
and they catch you and put the lights out. So Joshua, if it happens, which if Wilder takes a rematch, which I hope he does, um, they'll obviously fight again, and then one more fight's got to be Joshua. I can't see it going anyway, but a Tyson win. A stoppage. 100%. Tyson tonight, 18 stone 10. Not a man at 17, 12 coming in the ring. Not a man low 18s. A man, a strong man, oh, who's ate his vegetables, ate everything he needs to eat in this camp. Does that. Coming off a five fight turnaround. Not coming off a fucking 10 stone loss. Not coming off two spars. Coming off two good fights. Mm. A knockout and a good grueling win. And Otto Wallen owns a bit of that tonight because he got the ring rust off Tyson. Yeah. That was the best thing, you wouldn't know us at the time, but it was the best thing to happen to Tyson going through that bit of a war to get every cobwebs off. Mm. And that's what you get when Tyson's on fire. That's what you get when Tyson's on form. I'm ready. I'm done a proper camp. I just can't wait till the next fight, next camp, for him to work with Sugar Hill. Listen, he's only had seven weeks to try and change his style. Seven weeks. People, not a lot happens in seven weeks. You know, he's only had a certain, I think he's worked on probably three things repetitively over the seven weeks. So let now Tyson go home, have a couple of weeks off, bring Sugar over to the United Kingdom and work on the basics. You know, when Sugar come in the camp, Tyson looked a real novice. He couldn't even throw a jab correctly. Tyson was so upset and frustrated that he was the best in the world and he felt like, a novice on the pads with Sugar Hill. So he took him back to the basics, working his jab, working his straights, working his foot movement. And I just can't wait for the future so they get a chance to work on more. Hugh, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations. Boom. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Cassius. Paris Fury, congratulations. Yes, yes. How were your nerves? Talk me through it. The nerves was bad, but you know, they're gone. That's it. They're gone. We're good. We've got it. And he's done it. What was your going through your head? Like the first knockdown, what was going through your head when he knocked him down the first time? Keep calm and watch Deontay's strength and keep sensible. And he did, and he just done what he can do, what a proper man can do. It literally couldn't have gone any better tonight for, for Tyson, nope, could it? couldn't have gone any better. Perfect performance. That's what Tyson can do. He can do it. What was you thinking as the rounds were going on? Like, what, how was your, your heart must have been up do you know and down. What? The whole time, we all understand how dangerous that other man is, and that's, that always goes through your mind, so you're worrying about that. But I knew he was winning clear and easy, and he was doing it, and he was hurting him every time. That's what 40 pounds of a real man can do. He told everyone for weeks he was going to knock him out. No, no one, one believed it. No one, no one believed it, it. And no one took any notice of it. After people tipped the other guy, there you go. Don't doubt him. Don't ever doubt him. Well, you had to stay away from the house, but it was I'll worth it. I'll agree with it. I'll leave it. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave him alone, definitely. Very happy to. Yo, Ian, get in this crunk picture with Tommy Ann and Tyson and Andy. Um... It's all going off back here. It is all going back off, but um, you you're a happy woman, so yeah. congratulations. Thank and you very much. On to the next one. On to the next one. Oh, Thank no, don't talk about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paris. I saw you going for as well. He's in that room. Yes, we have a very happy Frank Warren. How do you feel, Frank? Top of the world, Mark. No, it's great. It was brilliant. It was fantastic. He told everyone he was going to do this. I know he said two rounds, but he, he said he was going to knock him and out. I said he'd do it mid-rounds, didn't I? Yeah, you did. All the way through. Sum up the performance for me. Um, well, he just owned the fight from the, from the first bell. He just got behind that jab. The jab, I always keep saying it, like, jab is the key to everything. And he was keeping him on his back foot. He wasn't letting him come forward. He threw a couple of shots. Uh, Deontay, he's a dangerous sod as we all know, but that Tyson, they were perfect tactics, and then kept taking the fight to him, wouldn't let him set himself, and then he started letting that right hand go, and he caught him some great shots. And when he hit him with that body shot, it was a strange, you know, like he caught him with it, he caught him, caught him right in a left hand under the body shot, and he threw him across, he like, it threw him over, it was the power of it. So those pillar cases, they were filled with dynamite. <laughs> And he blasted him out. I mean, he absolutely done it in tremendous, tremendous style. And uh, I've got to tell you something, you know, it, it don't get no better than that. This, this is the best achievement in my time for a British boxer ever. Ever. Really? Look, these are two undefeated fighters. Yeah. You know, knockout ratio that he's got. Um, Wilder, you know, hardest punching heavyweight, according to statistics of all time. Look what he done to him. He, he, he owned it. He owned him. He owned the ring. 
he owned Deontay Wilder and he owned Nari, he, and he owned Vegas. And at the end of the day, he now owns the world. That's where he is. He's the man. And when again, you know, when you think about it, that was like fighting in Manchester. The crowd behind him. I you know, American fighter. They were. They were. They were he just took it over. Frank, Tyson really didn't really want to answer these questions. He just wants to be left alone about what's next. But you're the promoter, Frank, so you'll be thinking about these things. Do you expect the third fight to happen? Well, he's got, you know, you would expect him to exercise the option. Whether he goes through with it, I don't know. But that's what I'll do, at least keep his position. That's the sensible thing to do. But it's going to be his choice. But it ain't going to be no different next time round if there is a next time round. He just, he's got his number. He had his number in the first fight. He won that first fight. And you know, I keep saying, when he went, I went you know, I'm not a schmuck. We, went, we made that fight knowing that first fight, believing that he'd win it. So this time he emphatically won it. And done it People are going to be pushing for um, an undisputed fight. The Brits have all the belts now. Not a problem. Well, that's where we are. We're top of the world with heavyweights, aren't we? You know, that's, that's where we are. It's brilliant. But it, the number one, we all know the number one is now. I want to hear you say it. I want it out of your mouth. Who's the number heavyweight? Number one heavyweight in the world. You would say Tyson Fury is Absolutely. the number one heavyweight. Undisputed. Um, and undisputed. I think that's a, a, a fair comment. But we do want to see that undisputed. Of course we want to see it. Listen, he don't duck anyone. He went to Germany. <laughs> and beat a guy with the second longest reign of a heavyweight champion. He's been here twice. Who does he duck? Come on. Well, listen, I think Vegas is going to uh, explode tonight. It's so certainly, we exploded in that ring. Are you going to go to the after party at Hacky Sand? I can't wait to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> it was, listen, it was a great performance. And, you know, that tonight is Tyson Fury's night. And he, he owns it. This is a boost for boxing. You know, for a guy to come to Vegas and, you know, you know a Brit, a foreigner, Irishman, to come here and own it like he did, that is a, making a big statement. He is the most, he's the biggest draw in boxing. Barna. Frank Warren, enjoy the rest of your night and uh, I certainly am, mate. I'll see you on that plane that. tomorrow. Sure. Coogan Cassius here with Dana White. Dana, what have we just witnessed there? He looked incredible tonight, man. He, he, I, you know, I liked him to, to outbox him, but not like that. Holy shit. He, uh, he absolutely dominated him the entire time, and he had power tonight, hurt him with every shot, and uh, he looked incredible. He, he said he was going to knock him out. He said he was going to go for that knockout, but no one really believed him. They thought it would be a pointless win if he was to win, but he did shock yeah. a lot of people in that. Yeah, he, he did it, man. I, I didn't believe it either. I didn't, I didn't think that... Uh, I, I absolutely... I bet Fury tonight, so I, I bet on him. I thought that he would win. I thought that he would outbox him. I didn't think he'd knock. Although I did have, I had rounds, I had rounds, uh, 10, 9, 10, 11, 12 for knockout, and uh, we were close. A word on Wilder? What did you think? What's that? A, a word on Deontay Wilder, though. Yeah, he's tough as tough as yeah. fucking tough can be. Broken eardrum, kept fighting, was mad that the corner stopped. It was a great fight. Good night, Get him in the UFC. Thank you,